Hi everyone, my name is Monwar. In this video, I will go through installing Oracle React database software using Ansible playbook. Mm, Ansible is an automation tool where you can execute a single command for hundreds separate commands separately. Uh, what I'm talking about, think when you do install Oracle Grid infrastructure, Oracle Rag database software, and then create a database. Uh, as an Oracle DBA, we may execute um, at least 40 commands. Uh, but with Ansible, I can do all these three things, like or three bigger tasks by executing a, simply a one single playbook. So here, we will say five is my Ansible control server. Uh, so let's see host file or x1 and or x2 is the rack node 1 and rack node 2 so let's check that one how ansible works that you need to make sure that there is a ssh authentication or passwordless authentication in between and civil server and target servers for the users that I am going to use. Uh, for this installation, please make sure that you already downloaded um, um, required Oracle for this particular one, Oracle database software um, to use this one. So um, now it's playbook. So this is the playbook I am going to call Oracle GI and Rack 21C and underneath that if you see that I am using roles so roles is Rack DB soft install and there let's see tree structure of that Roles and we are going to use this one. So, if you see the tree structure, you will see that underneath that there are different um, directories. So, let me briefly explain. So, uh, here, um, bars, uh, and there is a main.yml. This file has got all the variables. Let me go through the um, separate window, second window. So all the variables that I am going to use, I have defined here. So uh, you need to just um, modify based on your uh, setup. The next one is task. Hmm. Okay, task. Okay. So if you see here, that um, uh, here I am using debug module, Ansible module. Uh, and Sybil has got very good documentation you can go through and find you know all the details so debug module to get a message or to place a message like installing oracle database software next block i am going to do like all the database software there are a uh, few separate playbooks inside there so um, if you go on that first one like db software pre soft install so um, this is the pre soft installation uh, if you see here uh, what i am going to do just to make sure that binaries are already installed create required directories unpack oracle database software so so create required directories i am using a file module and when I want multiple directories, I just add them inside that with items. So it will go one by one directories and create that one if not they are present. Next one is here you say that um, uh, copy database pre install RPM file to the target database server. So what I have done that RPM file, the template underneath the template, I define the item. So it will read the item is here. You see that with items. So this is the item it will go from template and then destination is defined the stage directory 
So stage directory, all the variables is that um, uh, is already defined into verse file here. So if you look here at template, um, you see that um, that file is there. So this file will go to stage directory. Next, um, uh, what I'm going to do, just install pre install RPM file to local file. Just I am executing that one to x1 and that means node 1 and then node 2. After that, um, if you see here, um, I'm unpacking, which is unzipping. So I'm using an archive that is Ansible module to unzip software. Uh, so you see that software status directory. So if you look here, I define the software status directory. So that means with my variables file, you see that directory, I have you know, loaded that um, software uh, after downloading that one. And that I'm going to destination is to Oracle home. So that I also defined. So yeah, if you go here, you can see that Oracle home. Okay. Inside that next block, I'm going to do that um, input task is RagDB soft install. So if I check that file, So here you will see that um, it's getting first response file from template and um, just getting that response file uh, using template module. After that, if you what here, if you see that I'm using shell module and executing run installer using response file. So this is just silent mode installation. And when that installation is done, then I'm just um, using debug module to uh, see the output and to see the logs. Next task is um, root. So execute root script for node 1 and node 2. So it's that root is skipped for the fastener so i am using shell module and get the output and display that one same for second one so i just i am defining x2 which is node 2 so same thing executing root is skipped and when that is done then it's just validation just to make sure that um, software has been installed to get the log here and if you see after that next one is remove removing the registers directory that um, uh, and finally it's a message debug module and to display the message so let's execute this playbook so to execute that one and so the book and playbook name in my case this is the master playbook and it only enable roles this one like if i want to do all three together for example you know rag gi db soft rag db we need to put into sequence so it will do one after another okay first let me show you that you can do a step command so it will go one by one oh. No. Sorry, I gone wrong one. Wrong playbook. It's not there. So what is step does it will go one by one so when you are in new with ansible you can do one by one for example so p install message so i don't want to continue i am just cancelling so Control c will cancel again what you can do you can do also diff 
and check to see the defense and check so it will give you information but I don't want to continue this is just kind of check but check where there are many limitation I'm going to cancel this Playbook is executing now and if you see there it's already created record directories and then copy database pre-install rpm file to the target database server and now it's going to do unzip oracle database software to node 1 So here you see that um, that IP address which I defined on hosts files. So I put entry for um, like x1 which is 102 and x2 is 103 and I also combined them with the DB server so that if I call um, DB server then it will execute for both of them. now it's going to install oracle database software uh, for both the nodes You can do a pause here, it will take 5 to 10 minutes. 5 minutes, I think, based on my OS resources. So, here I am back. Okay, so database software installation has been done then now uh, root script for node 1 root script for node 2 now uh, it's validation part so it's validating that software has been installed and we got uh, debug message so now let's um, check ourselves also so let's connect to those um, two nodes and make sure that um, it just check uh, that result is showing me that it uh, job is successful but we are just checking So you can see node one job has been successful so the so i can see that uh, software release is 20 version is 
So same for Node 2. So we have successfully installed Oracle React Database software using Ansible Automation Playbook. So thank you. Thanks for watching.